my dear students i am welcoming you all to my channel in last session we discussed about antidote poisoning this session i am going to continue with that antidote poisoning we'll discussing we'll discuss about the continuation from the antidote poisoning in the last session we discussed about uh, what are all the mechanism of action then what are all the pharmaceutical inorganic substance uh, to be used to, to treat the antidote poisoning and what is mean by antidote that means which counteract the poison then uh, what are all the um, number of ways to attend the poison and all we'll discuss in the previous session so this class will briefly discussing about pharmaceutical inorganic substance uh, to treat the antidote poisoning here the first one sodium nitrite and sodium thiosulfate to be used to treat the cyanide poisoning we will see one by one what are all the molecular formula and molecular weight and synonym property how they are preparing and all we will see this class then first one sodium nitrite so chemical formula Na, NO2 and molecular weight 69 and preparation it can be prepared by strongly heating sodium nitrite that means sodium nitrite strongly heating not sodium nitrate here sodium nitrate there is a correction on the textbook uh, we um, so uh, NaNO2 is the molecular formula for sodium nitrate here we are going to prepare the sodium nitrate so that we need sodium nitrate so here the formula is right but uh, the writing text is wrong here so sodium nitrate NaNO3 on heating there is a formation of sodium nitrate NO, NaNO2 and removal of oxygen or another method also we may prepare by conveniently made by the same heating with the nitrite not here nitrate here also we have nitrate with metallic lead so that we will have the text text is uh, for the um, method of preparation for both uh, preparation the text is wrong here not sodium nitrate we should write sodium nitrate so from sodium nitrate itself we are going to prepare the sodium nitrite first one and heating itself sodium nitrate to converting removal of oxygen and the formation of sodium nitrite and the second one a uh, sodium nitrite nitrate and uh, with metallic lead so that the formation of sodium nitrate and lead oxide so remember that here the sodium uh, nitrate here also the nitrate is uh, is the wrong text text is wrong so we should make correction on that sodium nitrate not nit nitrate t r a t e nitrate okay next physical property it is colorless odorless to slightly yellow crystals and it is taste in saline and it is water soluble and sparingly soluble in alcohol so sparingly soluble in alcohol is nothing but it's slowly soluble in alcohol next chemical property sodium nitrite is easily decomposed by the acidification with the sulfuric acid like acidification means acidified with some sulfuric acid thereby formation of acidified with sulfuric acid that sodium nitrite on acidification that Na2SO4 and removal of nitric acid sodium acidification with sodium sulfate and nitric acid next it act as a reducing and oxidizing agent how it act as a reducing like nitric acid with potassium iodide and sulfuric acid there is removal of iodine and nitrous acid and water and potassium sulfate so it is used for there is no doubt at all so we this uh, sodium nitrate sorry sodium nitrite and sodium what is that sodium thiosulfate is the main two major pharmaceutical inorganic substance 
used for cyanide poisoning but the majority goes to sodium thiosulfate in the last session also i discussed with you why because this has some vaso constrictive so uh, the priority goes to sodium thio sulfate that is vaso dilator action what is the use of because of weak vaso dilator what is that sodium nitrate as weak vaso dilator action so that the priority goes to sodium thio sulfate so these are the overall description of a sodium nitrite next we will see about sodium thio sulfate so what is the formula for sodium thio sulfate na2s2 O3 and 5 molecule of water. I told you with molecule means hydrous and without means anhydrous. Here the anhydrous sodium thiosulfate. Why? Because it has 5 molecules of water. Next sodium hyposulfate. What is the synonym? What is the synonym of sodium thiosulfate? Sodium hyposulfate. Next the preparation molecular weight. Before going to the preparation what is the molecular weight? 248.2 248.2 next we will see the preparation sodium thiosulfate what is the preparation here Na2S2 O3 before that we need Na2 what is the formula Na2S2 O3 so we are preparing from sodium we need sulfate sodium thiosulfate so we are preparing from sodium sulfite what is the formula na2so3 so na2so3 so one more hydrogen come here so na2 yes what is the difference between these two this is sodium this is sodium sulfite this is sodium thiosulfate what is that sodium sulfite that is nothing but Na2SO3 here one sulfur is less so that we are going to treat with sulfur so what is the formation this sulfur to be go and attached with that so sodium sulfite what is the name of this one sodium sulfate so we will have sodium thiosulfate formula Na2S2O3 okay next next method it's very easy to it is very very easy to recall the preparation so everyone it's very easy to make the preparation once you know the concept about preparation of sodium once you you are well known about the sodium thiosulfate so it's very easy to prepare the method of sodium thiosulfate and what is the next method of preparation sodium sulfate instead of sodium thio instead of sodium sulfite here we are taking sodium sulfide see sodium sulfide Na2S sodium sulfite Na2 SO3 sulfite is differ from sulfide okay so this is sulfide this is sodium sulfite okay then we are going to treat with sodium carbonate and sulfur dioxide so remember that Na2S we need Na2S2O3 so that one O3 3 oxygen we need so that we are treating with sulfur dioxide and sodium carbonate so we will have removal of carbon dioxide there is the formation of sodium thiosulfate so what is the formula for sodium thiosulfate Na2S2O3 and what is the formula for sodium sulfide Na2SO3 and treating with the sulfur so we will get first method of preparation and second method of preparation sodium sulfide treating with sodium carbonate and sulfur dioxide so there is the formation of sodium thiosulfate and removal of oxygen okay remember that what is the two method 
Next we'll see about physical property. It occurs in the form of large colorless crystal. It is colorless and is having an alkaline taste. It is soluble in water but insoluble in alcohol. But insoluble in alcohol. So here the this is also sparingly soluble in alcohol. But difference is there. Sparingly soluble in alcohol means some are soluble, some are not insoluble. But this is insoluble like sodium thiosulfate is insoluble in water. It forms a colorless crystal. Then next we will go to the sodium chemical property. I told you but sodium nitrate on acidification with sulfuric acid we will have sodium sulfate. But here we are going to acidify with the hydrochloric acid so next we'll see this difference between these when sodium nitrite and acidification with sulfuric acid we will have sodium sulfate and another method with treated with potassium iodide and acidification again and nitric acid so we'll have removal of iodine nitrous acid and water and potassium sulfate so here we'll have acidification with sodium sulfate and potassium sulfate but here sodium thiosulfate on acidification with hydrochloric acid so it gives sulfur oxide so sodium thiosulfate when acidified with hydrochloric acid it decomposes to give sulfur sulfur dioxide what is the h2s2 what is the name of this one sulfur dioxide then next this sulfur dioxide on treatment with uh, so on decomposition it uh, separated into sulfur water and sulfur trioxide so it is used in the treatment of there is no doubt at all so both these sodium thiosulfate and sodium formula once again i am telling you sodium NaNO2 and Na2S2O3 these two main pharmaceutical inorganic substance to be used for the cyanide poisoning so but the majority first the priority goes to sodium thiosulfate because of this as vasodilator weak vasodilator action sodium nitride so and also this to be sodium thiosulfate to be used to for lead poisoning also so what are all the lead poisoning agent like uh, sodium thiosulfate uh, sodium calcium edta and dimer capra act as a um, antidote for the lead poisoning also next we'll see about question and answer this will give you overall idea about overall understanding about um, antidote uh, antidote poisoning so differentiate between poison and antidote so what do you understand that poison and antidote antidote which will counteract the poison poison is nothing but the person intentionally or unintentionally or forcibly treated with the poison so the person leads to illness or might be caused death so in order to prevent from the person from poisonous case so we are going to treat with a pharmaceutical in our, by using with these two um, some of the substance to be used to for the uh, medicinal purpose like antidote purpose like here sodium in case of cyanide poisoning means treating with the sodium nitrite and sodium thiosulfate so these are the main two difference between poison and so now we'll see poison may be defined as any substance that when introduced into or absorbed by a living organism causes illness or death while an antidote is an agent which counteract which counteract or subsides the poisons which prevent from the death or illness that is known as antidote then what kind of therapy is required for poisoning that means sympathomimetic or supportive therapy that means uh, induction emesis 
and uh, what is that gastric lavage it's nothing but supportive therapy and sympathomimetic like and there are the three mechanical action we already discussed in previous session also by using with the pharmaceutical inorganic substance then how poisoning can be removed immediately from the body that i told you gastric lavage or by emesis induction next how poisoning can be occurred so these are the main four um uh, ways like by accidentally or by use recreational substance recreational substance is nothing but the person using with opiates or pan and like that but in intentional behavior also by occupational occupational and accidental comes under the chances between uh, poisoning occurs next the classification of antidote according to the mechanism physiological mechanical and chemical like physiological example sodium nitrate and sodium thiosulfate mechanical example activated charcoal and chemical example comes under sodium thiosulfate okay so how it is affected by it changes by physiological action it is by mechanically absorbed with the activated charcoal and it um, changes their chemical nature that is cyanide thiocyanide to non toxic th thiocyanide that means chemically changes their nature means chemical antidote then write down example of mechanical antidote now i told you mechanical antidote like activated charcoal magnesium sulfate and copper sulfate and sodium mono hydrogen phosphate these are the example even copper sulfate also used as a emetic that we'll discuss one more topic we have uh, what are the expectorant and emetic so this topic will cover uh, emetic so here the copper sulfate and um, like sodium antimony tartrate uh, become a major role for the treatment of emetic so emetic why we need here the we are to giving chances to emetic means so which will emesis induction of emesis so that that the poison absorbed or ingested by the person so immediately if you are giving emit uh, induction emesis induction means so the person can um, try to uh, 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 emic uh, the poisons from the stomach so that is known as emetic next uh, which drugs are used in the treatment of lead poisoning as i already told you lead poisoning like so sodium calcium acetate and dimer caprol and also sodium thiocyanate also to be used for the treatment of lead poisoning which therapy is used for that means chelation therapy chelation is nothing but that the formation of complex with the uh, poisonous substance so when uh, sodium calcium editate you know that uh, editate and dimer caprol these are the best example for the chelation so uh, so that by making it a formation that is complex formation with the uh, poison um, then the, the person can be could be uh removed poison from their stomach next which antidote is used in the treatment of cyanide poisoning uh, again and again repeatedly i am saying you uh, sodium in the form of sodium nitrite and sodium thiosulfide next differentiate between physiological and mechanical the same they act as a producing effect of opposite to the top that means uh, physiologically they nature um that means changing the nature i told you in that previous session a big explanation about uh, what is the mechanism of action like ferrous form of to ferric form ferrous form of hemoglobin to ferric form of methemoglobin okay that uh, methemoglobin bind with the cyanide so that cyano methemoglobin to be process produce after that uh, when uh, we are treating with that sodium thiosulfate it is converted into uh, cyanide met, uh, so thi thiocyanide then it is to be treated for, uh, excreted from the kidney so these are the overall physiological antidote mechanism and mecha mechanical antidote is nothing but activated charcoal which will absorb the uh, poison into the body so i think from uh, 
long answer questions also which will give you to understand about the concept of antidote we'll see define antidote and uh, i you try to give the answer for these long answer questions like uh, define antidote and classify them with suitable example and explain in detail about lead poisoning which i already we discussed with that lead poisoning previous session and uh, next discuss briefly the mechanism of poisoning by cyanide poisoning also now onwards we discuss then what is the role of sodium nitrite and uh, uh, in the treatment of cyanide poisoning and discuss the methods of preparation properties and uses of sodium nitrite and sodium thiosulfate once you go through with that uh, previous session so you may understand that how to give the explanation for these long answer question uh next we'll